appeals of Buckley's Sapphires and Avril. These three appeals concern requests for extradition under European arrest warrants, EAWs. EAWs were issued by the Ministry of Justice of Lithuania for Mindegos Baknis, based on convictions for housebreaking and fraud, and for Marius Sakalis, based on his conviction for sexual assaults. The third EAW was issued by the Estonian Ministry of Justice for Mr. Dmitry Lavrov, based on a conviction for murder. EAWs are warrants intended to meet the requirements of Council Framework Decision 2002, number 584, on surrender procedures between member states of the EU. In the United Kingdom, Part 1 of the Extradition Act 2003 was enacted to give effect to these requirements. Under Section 2, Subsection 7 of the Act, the warrants were certified by the Serious Organised Crime Agency, SOCA, now the National Crime Agency, which was under Section 2, Subsection 8, the designated authority for this purpose. They were certified as being Part 1 warrants issued by a judicial authority having the function of issuing arrest warrants. The appeals raised for consideration whether the warrants <coughs> were given a challenge on the basis that, firstly, they were not the product of a judicial decision, a word used in the Council Framework decision, by a judicial authority, a word used in both that decision and in the Extradition Act 2003, or, and or secondly, the ministries making them did not have the function of issuing domestic arrest warrants and were incorrectly certified by SOCA under Section 2, Subsection 7 of the 2003 Act. If a challenge is open on either or both of these grounds, the third question is whether the challenge is on the evidence well founded. On the 12th of December 2012, the Divisional Court answered the first issue in favour of the persons whose surrender was sought. The, the warrants could, in other words, in principle be challenged as not involving a judicial decision by a judicial authority, but the second against them. As to the third issue, the court concluded that the challenge was good on the facts in the case of Mr. Lavrov, but not in the case of Mr. Bucknes and Mr. Sakalis. In upholding the latter two warrants, the court was influenced by its finding that the relevant Lithuanian ministry was giving effect to a request for the issue of an EAW coming from the court responsible for the conviction. During the appeal, before this court, further evidence was adduced about the position in Lithuania and Estonia, which has led the court to different factual conclusions. Since the hearing, the court has also been informed that Mr. Bucknis has sadly died, but the issue of principle remains of importance, and this judgment deals with it. The Supreme Court, in a judgment given by Lord Mance, uh, with which all other justices agree, holds that the arrest warrants issued for Mr. Bucknis and Mr. Lavrov were valid, whereas that issued for Mr. Sakalis was not. Mr. Bucknis's appeal is therefore dismissed. Mr. Sakalis's appeal and the Estonian Ministry's appeal in Mr. Lavrov's case are allowed. On the issue whether Mr. Bucknis, Mr. Sakalis, and Mr. Lavrov can challenge the EAWs on the ground that the issuing ministries were not judicial authorities making a judicial decision, this court holds that member states were not intended to have carte blanche to define judicial decision or judicial authority, however they might choose. The limits of these concepts fall to be identified under EU law by looking at the instrument's content and intended effects. Their most obvious the most obvious purpose was to ensure objectivity, including freedom from political or executive influence in decision-making, and to enhance confidence in a system which was going to lead to a new level of mutual cooperation between EU member states. An EAW issued by a ministry for a convicted person with a view to his or her surrender can be regarded as issued by a judicial authority if the relevant ministry issues the EAW under national law at the request of and by way of endorsement of a decision that the issue of such a warrant is appropriate, made by the court responsible for the sentence or by some other person or body properly regarded as a judicial authority responsible for the execution of the sentence. If this condition is satisfied, the existence of a discretion on the part of the Ministry not to issue an EAW does not affect the position. Such a discretion can only favour the person whose surrender is sought. 
the EAWs for the arrests of Mr. Bucknes and Mr. Lavrov satisfied the condition mentioned and are valid. However, in issuing the EAW for Mr. Sakalis's arrest, the Lithuanian Ministry of Justice was acting only on a request from the prison service, and this EAW did not satisfy the condition and is invalid. As to the issue regarding the nature of the warrant referred to in Section 2, Subsection 7 of the 2003 Act, the submission that that subsection refers to the function of issuing domestic warrants rather than European arrest warrants is not inconsistent with the bare language of the Act, but it would involve soccer in onerous investigations of overseas practice and might have perverse results. The correct interpretation is that the subsection refers to the authority responsible for issuing European arrest warrants. The warrants and certification were thus unobjectionable in that respect.